This is John Manip for Worship Drummer, and in this video, we will be reviewing some shaker sticks. I've had these shaker sticks for about two months now, and I've been able to use them in a different array of worship settings. And to be quite honest, I've never seen anything quite as unique as these shaker sticks. So I've actually also conducted a few worship drummer workshops where I've brought these along with me and all of the drummers agree that this is a great product for us in that it helps us combine two sounds into one, that of a drummer and that of a percussionist adding the shakers, the different sounds um, and just still holding sticks in our hands. Shaker sticks come in four different models and we'd like to show you them quickly. The first is the SSRT1, which is their flagship design, which is made from maple and it is in a 5A traditional wood tip drumstick. And it features right here the eggshell, which is fused just above the shaft of the drumstick, just below the shoulder. And so that's the SSRT1, again, their flagship design. Secondly, we have the SSRD1, which is this hot rod style design and it can be used in any genre of music to achieve that warm soft backbeat uh, shaker sound and it's excellent choice for players looking for that expansive and earthy unplugged sound so we would recommend that for your unplugged setting and then next is the SSMT1 which is basically a three-in-one stick again it has that 5A maple drumstick it has the shaker, uh, which is just fused to the stick. And then as well, on the back end, on the butt end of the stick, it has this uh, firm mallet. And this is great for uh, cymbal swells, or also if you have a tom groove that you have to play during a verse and we build it up. And then you flip it around for the chorus and you just rock it out with that. So really useful three in one. And then the last design, features uh, the butt end shaker and you can use this for tom grooves as well or you can even hit your your cymbals with this and accenting those notes with the shaker sound and then flip it around for just your straight uh, beat with your regular drumstick so that is the SSBE one butt end and those are the four models of shaker sticks now, if you had to ask me which one I would recommend, I would have to say that these two stand out for myself. I really have come to love the SSDR1 and as well as the SSMT1 um, just for their versatility. And in fact, I featured this one in a Chris Tomlin drum cover I did for Easter at the cross, Love Ran Red. And you can see me uh, using this shaker part for uh, a section in the song. And so I just, I think for what we do in worship, um, they just offer so much more color. And when we talk about our language and knowing our sound as drummers, I really feel that this gives us some extra vocabulary to use for our worship setting. Now, they claim that it is as if a percussion player was sitting right next to you. And so I would have to agree that, that I get that sense because uh, I used to put one stick down and hold the, the egg shaker and keep time with that, but now I don't even have to because I can still play and do my stuff and have um, the egg sound, egg shaker sound right there as if a percussionist was standing next to me. Some churches don't have the luxury of having an auxiliary setup or just an extra person to keep time. Um, so I find that this is very practical in uh, most worship settings when we talk about the local church. Now in terms of price point, I'm sure this is what everyone's wanting. Great, how much will something like this cost? Well, I believe the shaker sticks uh, are in a perfect price point for us, ranging from $9.95 to $14.95 US dollars. So that's very affordable. Now the only thing is, they're not sold as a pair, but rather as an individual stick. So please make note of that. And in terms of durability, I don't know if you can see it here, there is some scuffing of the sticks, some dents, but you know what? Uh, use your regular sticks for your playing, but when you need that extra color in your sound, pick these up. 
Um, the maple is slightly softer than the hickory sticks that I typically use, but that's okay. Uh, you know, some rim shots that I, I got with it, you can see the scuff marks and the dents, but don't worry about that. They haven't snapped on me and they're pretty solid as a, a stick goes. Now in terms of competition out there, I haven't really found much else that can come close to this except for Rhythm Text Stick Ball. But to be honest, I love the versatility of this and knowing that this will never move. I'll never have to reposition it. I can just grab it and for the price point, I think it's very affordable. And so if you were to ask us, do you recommend Shaker Sticks? I would say absolutely. It comes at a great price for so much that it can offer to enhance and improve your sound and again your language and vocabulary um, in terms of musicality and sound. That's it for this review of Shaker Sticks. I hope it was helpful for you in determining what kind of sticks you can buy to enhance your worship sound. As well, if you have any comments, you can always leave them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share these videos. We have a lot more coming down the pipe, so stay tuned. That's it for this review. This is John Mana for Worship Drummer.